guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome to our new series on the parables. We are so glad you're here to join us this week. In this series, we're gonna learn some of the stories that Jesus told to help us understand how he wants us to live. We're gonna start by singing a song about our memory verse in Matthew 13, 12. It says, to those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given and they will have an abundance of knowledge. Let's sing it together. That was a great song. That song reminds us that when we listen to Jesus' teachings, we will have a better understanding of how He wants us to live. Now we're gonna watch our Bible story so we can learn more about the stories Jesus taught when He was on earth. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the wealthy man. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, a crowd gathered around Jesus to hear him talk. The crowd was so big that people were stepping on each other. Hey, watch it! Jesus was talking to his disciples when someone called out from the crowd, Hey, Jesus! Teacher, tell my brother to divide with me the property our father left us. Ah, uh, hold on there. Jesus said, Friend, who made me a judge over you to decide such things as that? Be careful and guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life is not measured by the many things he owns. Huh? Then he told them a story. A rich man had a fertile farm that produced fine crops. He said to himself, what should I do? I don't have room for all my crops. Hmm. Ah, I got it. Then he said, I know. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Then I'll have room enough to store all my wheat and other goods. And I'll sit back and say to myself, my friend, you have enough stored away for years to come. <laughs> now take it easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> but God said to him, you fool, you will die this very night. <laughs> Wait, what? Then 
who will get everything you worked for. Yes, a person is a fool to store up earthly wealth, but not have a rich relationship with God. What a cool Bible story. That parable really helped me understand more about how Jesus wants us to live. There are a lot of ways for us to apply that same teaching to our own lives. So let's watch the modern retelling of the parable to see how we might be able to live the way that Jesus wants us to. Let's watch it. Where did my stuff go? You know you can't bring any of that with you, right? All the wealth you build, everything you do on earth, you can't bring it with you to heaven. You may as well start building your riches in heaven. Have you done anything to live in the Holy Spirit? Well, it's a little too late now. Wow, what a great way to help us understand how Jesus' parable applies to our lives today. Now let's check out Rewind with my friend Tyler. He is watching some trending YouTube videos and sharing his thoughts. Let's see what he has to say. What's up guys, I am Tyler and welcome back to our fourth episode of Rewind. Rewind is a show where we scour the internet looking for the most awesomest viral videos and we show them to you our loyal viewers. So, let's get this thing started today. We will be playing a game called Add to Cart or Save for Later. Add to Cart or Save for Later. That's right, I am gonna show you some of the coolest unboxing and toy reviews ever, and then I'm gonna be faced with the decision. Do I add that item to my cart and buy it, or save it for later? Make sense? Let's do this. Video number one, check it out. Oh. Man, it is an entire armory of Nerf guns. I think he has every Nerf gun ever made. <gasps> I think he has the rocket launcher, a fireman's pole. Oh, look at all those darts. I've never seen so much ammo in my whole life. That video blew my mind. I didn't even know that one person could have that many Nerf guns legally. Maybe I should sell my car and put all of that money towards Nerf guns. All right, yeah, for sure. Add that to cart. Let's check out the next video. An iBook? What is that, like a Kindle or something? This computer's 18 years old? None of you were even born yet. There's no way this thing still works. It has an intro video? My iPhone doesn't even have that. Whoa, it looks so old. Who has CDs anymore anyway? Do you guys even know what CDs are? You know what CD stands for? Probably not. That was pretty crazy. That is an 18 year old computer and it's never been opened before. But I mean, my phone has at least like 30 times that kind of processing power. So I like it. I mean, it's kind of cool, but I definitely would not buy one. So I'm gonna save that for later. Let's check out the next video. Oh, is this a cool lunchbox or something? <gasps> it is a giant gummy worm. Ah, he's making him trade for it. Smart kid. Supply and demand, baby. 
I don't know who left a child with a knife unsupervised or who's giving them a gummy worm this big. Oh, they have so many flavors. Orange and blue raspberry? Lemon and orange, green apple and red cherry. All right, well, I mean, that definitely was the world's largest gummy worm. That thing was over two feet long. He said it had like 4,000 calories. That's insane. That's basically enough food to feed you for like two whole days straight. I mean, you will definitely get sick and probably throw up, but you know, it's still better than nothing. Add that to my cart. Boom, here we go. Moving on, next video. Okay. Ooh, okay, this is a unboxing video. Looks like. Legos, maybe? <gasps> oh! Millennium Falcon Star Wars set? Okay, so it says 16 and up for the age, but this kid's only 10, so this is illegal. You cannot legally operate this Lego ship if you're under the age of 16. That is so many pieces. That's stressing me out. Guys, I am so torn on this one. That Lego set is one of the most amazing kits I've ever seen. I mean, come on. They said this thing has like 7,541 pieces. Man, but I, I have to think practically. Number one, would I even have time to build this thing? And number two, Two, I feel like it would cost a lot of money. Let me see how much. Oh, okay, yeah, no way. Are you serious? This thing is $800. I mean, I like it, it's super cool, but I think I'm definitely gonna have to save this one for later, strictly for budget reasons. Okay, moving on, next video. Greedy Gamer, nice wake up stretch. Ooh, cool keyboard. You can't go to church because you're winning a game? Come on, Julian. You know what time it is. Who's this? Entrance to heaven. A man in a Prius is picking her up for heaven? Okay. Oh, she's bringing games. What do we got? Guitar Hero, Top Gun, Super Smash Bros. Nice. Oh, she's bringing a lot. A box and a, and a full bag. What'd you forget? She lost all of it. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so if I'm understanding this video correctly, you're telling me I can't take any of my cool toys or video games to heaven? Wow, I never really thought about that. And that's sort of what this whole episode was about. It's about if I would rather buy something or not buy something. The more I do think about it though, material things and things that we try to store up here on earth don't really matter that much. This reminds me of the parable of the wealthy man. In this parable, Jesus tells the story of a rich man who had had a successful, and fertile farm and it had more crops than he could even hold, right? And he decided to tear down all the barns and build even bigger ones so he could live a life of luxury. And he could rest easy knowing that he was set up for success for the rest of his life. But God came to the man and told him, you fool, you will die this very night. And then who's gonna get everything that you've worked for? It's foolish to store up wealth and live for success on earth because none of that is gonna matter when we go to heaven. It's much better to spend our time on earth deepening your relationship with Christ. Through this parable, Jesus explains the dangers of living for the world rather than for heaven. Having a relationship with Jesus is way more important than anything we could ever have or do or buy. Our relationship with him is way more important than our most favorite toy or video game. The Bible tells us when it's our time to go to heaven, we will not be able to take anything with us. So our most important priority on earth should be growing in our relationship with Jesus. There's no need to worry about what we may leave behind because heaven will be way better than anything we could ever imagine simply because we'll be living with Jesus. He promises to love and care for us or Ever. And that is something I can add to my cart. All right, guys, we are just about done here. We will see you next week on another episode of Rewind. Okay, bye.